It is the end of the year, but I have a lot of reading to get done, and I bet TV Buckley is only going to make it harder for me, so let's go. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to TBI Kaluna! <laughs> That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Yeah. If you don't know, this is my TBR game themed off of Super Cluedo. We have different rooms, we have different books which have different prompts on them and it picks what I read. It's essentially the idea. I'll leave the full playlist link down below and the first video has the full run through of the board. But how are we everyone? December is here, it's cold and chilly. <laughs> And I have a lot of reading to do <laughs> in December. I have a lot uh, of books to read, but also a lot of books that I couldn't put in TBR Cluedo and I'm just gonna have to read more books because of TBR Cluedo. Wrapped Up is back. <laughs> Um, if you haven't watched the announcements video, go check it out for how Wrapped Up is going to work this year because it's very fun at my expense. <laughs> and obviously with Wrapped Up, I don't know what books I'm going to be reading because I just unwrap them and have to read them. That's the whole idea. And then I do have a big vlog planned like around the middle to end of December, which requires me doing a lot of spreadsheetage and research and I haven't done that yet. I'll probably do it next week, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I want to film this for you. So... Yeah, not great to do t book in those conditions when I do, I can't plan what I'm gonna be reading. But hey ho! Anyways, I'm super excited. I love TBR Cluedo. Should we just get into the roles? I don't think I have anything to tell you. Yeah, let's get into our first of the six roles, and TBR Cluedo will pick what I'm gonna be reading. Okay, time for roll one. Person number seven, which is Brown over here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three and a five. Okay, so I'm just gonna go one, two, three and get number 28, which is a book I've never seen on booktube. So roll one was a horror that I've never seen on booktube. And this book came out pretty recently, but I haven't seen anyone mention it. And it is The Restless Dark by Erica Waters. I'm really excited for this book. I'm really excited. It's pitched as Sadie meets Wilder Girls in an unnerving mystery that will haunt you to the end. So I think it's almost like a mystery horror kind of vibe. It's shelved as horror on Goodreads. We're following three girls. There's a serial killer who I think is now dead and a true crime podcast is hosting a contest to find his bones. And these girls all have secrets. I think one of them was almost a serial killer's final victim. I've never read anything by Erica Waters but I've always heard good things so I'm really excited and I love the cover. Is the camera gonna pick it up? I, I mean look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But it's she's beautiful. <laughs> right. Oh. But she's Beautiful. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is gonna be my thing because I gave Sadie and Wilder Girls both five stars. So I feel like by that logic, this should be five stars. So we shall see. But I'm very, very excited to read this. I'm actually gonna be reading it start of next week. By the time you see this, I'll probably be about starting it. So very, 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 very excited. I'm hoping for great things. Roll number two. Person number four, let's see how many we roll. We've got a five and a three. Okay, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, which is number one which is a new to me author. Roll two was a thriller that is a new to me author and I have picked Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. I've never read anything by Gillian McAllister. What are some of her other books? I don't recognize any of them, I've gotta be honest. A lot of people have been talking about this lately and hyping it up and it's like time travel kind of. I think it's about this woman who wakes up every day, the day before her son commits a murder and I think she's trying to change what happens but can't. I haven't read a ton of like Groundhog Day, time, uh, time, what's the word I'm looking for? Time travel. <laughs> time travel thrillers, but I'm intrigued and everyone has been hyping this up. So we'll figure out if this kind of thing is for me, if like kind of, I guess thrillers or mysteries with a speculative element can be for me. And I know Julia McAllister is a very popular author, but I've never read anything by her. I literally don't rec recognize any of these books. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. I don't recognize any of them. So we shall see what I think of this. Okay, roll number three. Person number three, which is red over here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. We got a four and a five. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Where can we get to? Seven, eight, nine. 
which is number 16, which is a mystery with four or more words in the title. Roll three was a mystery with four or more words in the title and I have chosen The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. I've been waiting all year to read this and I finally made time to do it. I'm so excited. I read The Broken Girls by Simone St. James earlier this year and it's probably gonna be my top 10, I would think, pretty high in the top 10. I loved it. I thought it was such a good mystery. It had this speculative element that I feel like no one does like Simone St. James in that it's like, ghosts and I feel like this might have ghosty vibes. I don't know. It's never said if it's 100% real or 100% not. That's the vibe I think Simone St. James goes for where it's like there's just this little hint of like creepy you know that's what I've heard about this as well so there was a murder in 1977 in this small town and this woman was very much suspected of it but she was never convicted and now this girl who runs a true crime website in the present day is interviewing her and they meet at the woman's mansion that she's kind of secluded herself in for interviews it says item moves when she's not looking and she could swear she's seen a girl outside the window oh my I'm so I'm so excited this is probably one of the books I'm most excited to read this month. I feel like it's gonna be my thing. Yes, it has split timelines, but I feel like I can vibe with it because, you know, I feel like we're gonna be fine, everyone. <laughs> and yeah, very, very excited to read more Simone St. James because I feel like she could be a new favorite author for me. Roll number four. Person number four, which is pink again over here. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a three. Let's go one, two, three, which is number eight, which is a 2022 release. Roll four was a thriller that is a 2022 release and I'm gonna be reading, are we ready? Five Survive by Holly Jackson. <laughs> I am so excited for this. It comes out, I think like the 10th of December. I think this is already out in the US, which like, that's not fair. Holly Jackson's a UK girly. So yeah, this is Holly Jackson's new release. I am gonna be doing a dedicated reading vlog for this at some point in the month. Cause I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to read it. And I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous because obviously A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, my favorite YA mystery series, right? It's mixed media and it's mystery. Two things that Five Survivors are not. <laughs> All I know about Five Survive is that it's set over about eight hours and we're following a group of friends and I think only five survive. They're on like a road trip or something. So I am nervous because it's more thriller based, but I'm hoping I'm still gonna love it. But I feel sick a little bit. Cause I feel like this is a test for me and Holly Jackson. You know, I've loved A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, but like, can we go that one step further? You know what I mean? And like, I love everything. Am I gonna love something outside of this universe? I don't know. I feel very nervous about it. So yeah, I am gonna be reading that this month and we will see, we'll see what I think of it. I'll do a dedicated vlog for you guys. Roll number five. Person number three, which is red over here again. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three and a one. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, which is number five, which is something with blue on the cover. Roll five was a mystery with blue on the cover. And this is the one that I chose for my patrons to vote on. So if you don't know, they vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every single month. And that book that they vote on ends up being our book club pick for the month. And I asked them in our discord, I asked like, in a perfect world, <laughs> <laughs> what would we read, right? What would we read for the book club? Because obviously I can kind of like go towards certain rooms if I roll them or whatever. Like I can try and do what they want to some extent. Sometimes, I don't ask them this every month, but I feel like spreading the Christmas spirit. And at first I said cozy fantasy and I was like, I have no cozy fantasy on my TBR. Like <laughs> I've got nothing for us to read. And then some of them were like cozy mystery. I was like, okay, I can deliver on giving us a cozy mystery. So the options that I gave them were Death and Croissants by Ian Moore, The Winds Are Not by S.J. Bennett, which in my defense, <laughs> when I was looking on, because obviously I look on Goodreads, I look through my mystery shelf of all my unread mystery books, and I looked at the US cover, which is like entirely blue, but I would say that still has blue on the cover with like the handbag. No? Okay. The Deadly Mystery of the Missing Diamonds, or something like that, the one by T.E. Kinsey that's the start of the companion series to Lady Hardcastle, or Murder on the Orient Express, which of course I read, but it would be like a reread for me and a read for everyone else. And the one that flew away with the vote was Death and Croissants by Ian Moore, which I was not expecting. I've got to be honest with you, I really thought Murder on the Orient Express would take it, but no, we're going to be reading Death and Croissants by Ian Moore. This is a cozy mystery about a man who runs like a B&B &B in France. One of his older guests disappears and he's like, okay, right, something weird's going on, but like, you know, it's just a disappearance. But then someone kills one of his hens. Not the hen. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is just going to be a really fun, enjoyable, 
cozy mystery for us to cuddle up with and read in December. I'm very excited. It's not too long. It's literally under 300 pages. The audiobook's on Scribd. Like I think it's pretty accessible and pretty short and fun. So yeah, if you want to come join us, my Patreon link is always down below. I do a live show. We have sections on the Discord for us to discuss the book and I do a dedicated reading vlog for the book as well. So yeah, I'll leave that link down below. Come join us if you want. Um, and yeah, I love a good cozy mystery. <laughs> Okay, time for the final roll. And person number eight, which is, hang on, my notes app is closed. Blue, person number eight is blue. Okay, let's see how many we roll. We've got a five and a five. Okay, and maybe let's go into romance. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, which is number 23, which is a book under 300 pages. And then the final roll was a romance that is under 300 pages. And I'm so glad that I got near the romance and got to go into romance because I'm going to be reading Wrapped Up In You by Talia Hibbert. So I bought this ebook like two years ago now and I meant to read it that Christmas, but I've decided this is going to be my Christmas day, Boxing Day read. It's about the Christmas spirit. It is about the holiday season. Only like 127 pages. It's kind of like a novella. And I'm going to be pretty busy this Christmas with family and stuff and with Tom's family. But I do like to read something Christmassy on Christmas. Last year I read Christmas at the Grange, which is a Lady Hardcastle short story. And I read uh, Midwinter Murder, which is like Christmassy short stories from Agatha Christie. So I knew I wanted to read something this year, but I wouldn't have as much time. And I feel like this is a really good choice. I'm also going to be reading a lot of mysteries throughout the month. Like I've just got so many mysteries to read because I feel like it's also mystery season. I love to read mysteries when it's cold outside. But um, yeah, I feel like a romance is a good pick to like break it all up. And this is like a cute Christmas romance. I mean, come on, it's cute. I love Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert's probably my second favorite romance author. So I feel like I'm in good hands. I'm gonna enjoy it. That is my Christmas Day Boxing Day read. So I'm glad I got to go into romance at the end there. So there we have it, everyone. That is my December TBR plus wrapped up in you and five survive as well. Let me know if you've read any of these books, which ones you think I'm gonna love, which ones you're excited for me to read. If you got to the end, comment a Christmassy emoji down below, right? It begins. I thought about wearing my Santa hat again, but I literally just wore that in the last thumbnail. I feel like I need to, I need to pace out Christmas hats. Like, I, listen, I just love Christmas. <laughs> I get excited, okay, but I had to restrain myself, so I went like wintry cold today, you know, like, ooh. Um, <laughs> so yeah, comment a Christmassy emoji down below, or a cold emoji, like a snowflake, anything like that, a wintry emoji down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye! Yeah.